All right, in this video, I'm going to be tuning to an amateur radio DMR repeater that happens to be in the area. Had a user ask uh, about using DSD Plus and some problems they were having decoding the, that exact type of setup of an amateur DMR repeater. So uh, I looked online. And I did find a listing of some DMR-capable repeaters, uh, particularly this one here in Houston. Now, when I tuned to that frequency, I didn't actually hear anything, but uh, I watched the spectrum around it and uh, found one very, very close that is DMR. Uh, it's probably the same one. Maybe they just changed frequencies that I don't know. But uh, So we're going to go through doing that and I'm gonna do it the easiest way that uh, that I can illustrate everything that's going on and that's going to be by tuning it through SDR sharp and piping the audio to a virtual audio cable and then uh, firing up DSD plus with that virtual audio cable as the input and then uh, we'll listen to the output for a little bit this should be a rather quick video so like I said uh, let's get started so I have SDR play already running but I'm gonna go ahead and stop it real quick you can see uh, something seems a bit off here because I'm not on an exact frequency and this seems to be as close as I can get to the center of the frequency and I don't know if that's something with my equipment or not yet I am if you notice over here I'm actually using an SDR play RSP that I recently acquired and uh, so far everything else that I've tuned to has been fine but um, this one something something just seems off but we I'm able to tune to what we need for this so uh, let's take a look at what we've got here so I've got my frequency entered I'm on narrowband FM and uh, down here in audio I'm piping it to my line one virtual audio cable so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on that and we can see right now I don't see any activity this was active as of 10 or so minutes ago so hopefully those guys are still on here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring up my folder with uh, SD or DSD plus in it and I'm going to fire up a new command prompt uh, look uh, I just saw some activity over there so that is good so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up DSD plus and everything fired up on my other monitor over here but I'm gonna go ahead and escape back out because again what I'm looking for is my input devices so my line one virtual audio cable is input four so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and leave uh, everything else that is the defaults so I minimize that I see that we are DMR decoding let me go ahead and bring over my other windows over here and I'm gonna move shrink this just a tad bring in the other windows here and so I'm going to wait for a broadcast and I'll cut the video to when that's happening oh there we go so I have so there we go we have slot one decoding right now uh, this figure system obviously has two slots I've had audio come through both slots uh, the way DSD plus handles that is slot one comes through the left channel and slot two comes through the right so we'll give it a minute and see if we can get uh, a little bit longer audio decodes on that and again I'll uh, cut the video to accommodate that K5 LFQ North America. Good morning. Anybody around? K1 CW, uh, Boca Raton, Florida. This is uh, P3 RDI. I'm reading Cornwall. Go ahead. How are you enjoying the weather? Um, I heard you guys have a little bit of a rough time around there. No negative. We're just uh, 
Station in Florida, you're having a lot of trouble holding a repeater. You want to try again? J5 LFU, Station in Florida, can you call me? Uh, you just broke up right now. Uh, I didn't get to half of what you were saying there. Roger, I was saying you were breaking up. I guess it's my location. No, I was just asking how the weather was down there. Straight to Centigrade. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up something else just to see if we can run through something and compare something so we can tell whether or not what we're receiving is actually what we think we are receiving. So bear with me here and I'll do a cut to um, when that's active. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute that particular time slot just so I can talk for a second. What I was going to pull up was... A program called Artemis and normally speaking when you select uh, the type of uh, modulation over here you'll get a nice picture right here that you can then compare with what you're actually seeing in uh, SDR sharp and see if you're if you're listening to what you think you're listening to but unfortunately they do not have a signal waterfall for DMR at the moment everything else they do but not DMR. So anyway, this is a really neat program, and I just wanted to throw it out there to anybody who does not know about it. Uh, if you want to, here's the About page. And um, let's see if they show the direct website. I guess if you pull that website up right there. Yeah. And then, so yeah, Project Artemis. And then you can download it for yourself. Anyway, that's just a, this is just a really neat tool to uh, have in your uh, bag of tricks. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I'll end this by opening back up the both time slot decoding and uh, see what we got. Tell your friend in California he probably has America on their repeaters on push to talk. So you have to key it up once first for here for you to hear the audio. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. He needed to push the talk. <laughs> the All right, so where are you located here in Las Vegas? I'm over in Green Valley off of the 215 in Green Valley Parkway. Oh, I'm along Boulder Highway in Nellis uh, in an RV. Everything sounds good. Okay, well, thanks for the uh, information. We appreciate it. Take care and have a great weekend. Keep so nice you. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching.